Hello and welcome, it is I, Earthman Brick, here once again for another scratch build video. Today we're scratch building a flying base, a large one for Warhammer 40k builds that we're going to be making up at some point. So we start off with the GW large oval base because that's the standard for the new flyers. We traced around it on card and then layered up the card and just cut around it. It doesn't have to be perfect, just so long as it kind of works. And then we used an Allen key, otherwise known as a hex key or zeta key, that kind of frame for the build. And I used a shelf bracket as well and then just weighed it down with washers or hex nuts, whatever works for you. Now we're going to be using a similar, oh my goodness can't, we're, we're going to be using a similar uh, technique as we use for the industrial bases here which is to add on a lot of panels which we've made in previous videos before. Now here we've got, we've added court sheet as well as scrim tape and card in order to make up the ruins for these so you get the general gist. But that wasn't enough for me, so I wanted to add one with a window frame because I wanted to add glass and make it a, have a little bit more sparkle so we would be adding acetate later. But we wouldn't be adding the acetate until after we'd added the textured paint. Now the textured paint is the same formula we've used time and time again. It's just a mixture of PDA, house paint, sand or sawdust powder. Just whatever you've got kind of got handy. If you're using sawdust powder, Always wear a respirator because if that stuff gets in your lungs, it's really nasty. So always uh, play it safe. And we've got here as well a death copter, which we made previously. And I wanted to, I thought that the flying bases would deserve its own video at some point. And I wanted to explore and do a bit more with it, which is why I've added the window here, which is again made of acetate, which is just your clear plastic food packaging that you find in supermarkets. Absolutely great stuff for us crafters. I could have added more broken shards on the floor, but I thought, you know what, it works. So I've just kind of gone with that. And I'm going to be trying to add some scrap jets as well as some other flying vehicles. But thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If not, give it a thumbs down. Not that I'll know because YouTube have hidden that whole aspect now. But thanks very much for watching. And if you've got any questions, just ask in the comments below. Cheerio folks, thanks again.